anti-Afro Svengali. We wanted to make some clarification on some issues. This is a reminder that Anti-Fraud Warriors is a legally formed entity, and we are taking steps to protect Anti-Fraud Warriors. Now, what people want to say about Anti-Fraud Warriors online, they can say it, but there's going to be a limit imposed. People not yet taking it seriously, people not quite used to it, we're gonna give people a little bit of time to let it sink in. And then there are going to be letters sent from attorneys letting people know that they are encroaching upon a legal entity and their behavior will need to cease or legal action will be taken. Anti-fraud warriors is not going to be associated with the things that you see going on. Again, Say what you want to say. And if you want to counter that, you're going to be doing it in court. Anti-fraud warriors absolutely would never support somebody putting up a live stream for two hours and allowing someone to be slandered. And then when the live stream comes down, here is evidence that the person further wants that information dispensed, that false information bragging, oh, I made a copy, so if you want me to give it to you, email me. That is further exacerbating the intent was evil to begin with. We are not going to be associated with any type of behavior where people are slandered. We will be defending people against online attacks that are initiated. And we will defend everybody's right who supports anti-fraud warriors to seek legal redress in a court of law. So say what you want to say about anti-fraud warriors. You will have to prove your statements in a court of law. And not only will you be defending it in a court of law with anti-fraud warriors, your employers will be contacted. We are not involved with demon live streams, louse filled live streams. We are not involved with any of that. When Certain people on a limited basis went to try to defend their reputations and their families. That is one thing. But let me tell you how futile a good faith effort can be when someone has bad faith. There is a person, a woman, a married woman who does these dildo reviews who pretended to have all these questions about anti-fraud warriors and why Rev G blocked this person. And then when the information was given, that wasn't effery enough to keep the crap going. So the person goes on the attack and starts calling us all these names. That is an example of what I'm referring to. There are some people who are simply not interested in the truth. So what is the reason and what is the purpose to go over to these last field live streams and have what? There's no point to it, people. And as far as Umar Johnson content, it's irrelevant. Who else posts or doesn't post Umar Johnson content? All of the people who are posting content now actively, because there are people absolutely who have been posting Umar Johnson content before I was. I'm not going to tell you I'm the first one. Are you serious? Actively speaking on any Umar Johnson issues. I was one of the first, or actually I think I am the first person out of the current group actually posting Umar Johnson content. I'm not calling it a sector. People can call it what they want. They're free to call it what they want. I'm not part of any sector. I'm doing something different. I can decide to go wherever I want to go. It makes no difference whether someone says, don't come to my page if you're anti-fraud warriors. Guess what? Essentially, anti-fraud warriors, over half of them don't even participate in YouTube. And there is absolutely no anti-fraud warrior over on this page who's posting, don't come here if you're an anti-fraud warrior because you're attacking us. Well, 
say that. But eventually, you will have to prove that in a court of law if you continue to make that statement that anti-fraud warriors is attacking people. Attacking people is one thing. Defending oneself is totally different. And all they're going to need to do is exactly what they did during the criminal investigation with Reb G. Getting search warrants and going through records. Who was saying what and when? That's all they need to do. So if you are going around saying things about people's wives and questioning their reproductive health, and then someone turns around and says something about your mother and you're having a conniption fit and you're trying to blame that on anti-fraud warriors, cool. You are going to find yourself in court having to defend yourself. Go right ahead and say what you want to say now. You're getting used to it. You may not even believe it but you're no longer going to be able to slander me personally, anti-fraud warriors, or anybody who is legally associated with this legally formed entity. And this was necessary because we had a fake who we always knew was a risk because we were warned. We were warned about this person and the person turned out to be exactly what we were warned about, but that's fine. Everything can have a good end to it. And we're very proud of having established anti-fraud warriors as a legal entity. As I stated, there are a few changes that need to be completed within the legally formed entity. And then we are going to give more details about exactly what we are going to be doing with the organization. But we will not allow anti-fraud warriors to be slandered and hijacked we will be taking legal action. We have benefactors who have already agreed to support us and we will be spending money on legal fees going to court. That's how serious we are. Get your own content. If you're creative, you don't need us. You don't need to mention my name. You don't need to mention anti-fraud warriors. You don't need to mention any of us. And let me make it clear. It doesn't mean people can't say the word anti-fraud warriors. Let's get that clear. That's ridiculous. People can say anti-fraud warriors. It's what you're accusing us of, which is completely false. So if you are making false statements, slanderous statements, that is going to be addressed. How about your employer? Can you stand up and make slanderous statements about your employer? Can I make slanderous statements? Can I slander your employer? Can I libel your employer? And your employer is just gonna sit there and say, have a nice day. No, your employers are going to take action. Any entity is going to take action. And just because you think you change an avatar, you think no one knows who you are, trust you me, like people like to brag all the time, I'm gonna find out who you are for a legal reason, there are legitimate reasons to identify and locate individuals, not for nefarious purposes. That was the situation before, to try to harm someone, to try to come to someone's house. If you can prove you were serving a legal document, you are able to find out who somebody is and where they are employed. So make no mistake about it with the legally formed entity this is what we're going to be doing with anti-fraud warriors because we have work to do and we are not going to be harassed out of our mission. Everyone has a right to put on their content. We have a right to put on our content, but nobody has a right to harass us and slander us because we don't want to come to your platform because we don't want to answer your questions. You come around when we're talking about one thing and you barrel into a live stream and you try to talk to me or Rev G and you have Rev G's email. I have put the doctor email address up. I don't know how many times people don't want to do that. They want to be on stage when they launch an attack. They want drama. We are not interested in that. We don't want anything to do with that. We have a whole separate mission. You want to sit around and trash people all day long. Now, if somebody's upset with what someone is saying to them. It's probably a wash. Max V, you've been going at Smoke, Smoke's been going at you, and you're trying to find somebody else to blame. And the last time you targeted me by saying I was a criminal enterprise.
that's what you did. And that is slander. So now you're trying to say that anti-fraud warriors is attacking people. You need to be very careful because we are going to take legal action against you if you continue to make false statements. Deal with your situation with the smoke. You attacked his wife, questioning her reproductive health. Don't you dare try to bring me into this. This stuff about somebody's penis, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I never talked about no one's penis or your mom's sex life. I don't have anything to do with that. And just because I go over to someone's page and I leave comments, that doesn't mean I was involved with that discussion. You got engaged with the smoke and you cannot handle it because he's reciprocating the attacks that you launched on him. This sounds very familiar. If you don't want someone talking about you, do not talk about them. But you can't expect people to be quiet when you slander them and go after their wives. What business do you have talking about anybody's wife? That's what I don't understand. Talking about someone's wife. Now the wife can come after you all by herself. She doesn't need her husband. She's an individual person. Then what are you going to do? She would, she would prevail. She would prevail on a case with you. That's highly predictable because you were slandering her. And I recall that conversation. I recall you said that, Max. I'm going after her because she sat over there and she let her husband do. What do you mean let her husband do anything? You can't hold her accountable in a court of law. Her husband is not a five-year-old. You launched vicious attack on Mrs. Smoke. Slander, you slandered this woman. And now you're pissed at the smoke because you two are in an argument. And for some reason you're discombobulating because you feel he's getting the best of you. And you're trying to drag anti-fraud warriors into it. I'm not gonna let you do that. So go ahead and get it out of your system, Max. Get it out of your system. And you got some hell of a nerve with this Liz Lopez, is that her name? You have a white woman over there, a white woman calling black people niggers and binary code. Where the hell do you get off trying to tell somebody someone's attacking people? You are such a liar and you are just, you're completely out there acting like a perpetual victim. I do not care how many people come over to your live stream. It's quality, not quality quantity. If I wanted to be at these spaces, I would be there. Lord knows you guys keep sending emails to people asking people to ask me to come places. I'm not going there. I don't want to be there. If I wanted to be somewhere, I would be pushing and pressuring and begging to get in. I'm not doing that. Have a clue. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to be there. I'm doing what I want to do on this channel and we keep all of that out. You cannot tell me where I can go and what I can say. So whatever penis conversation went on, whatever conversation went on about your mom and whatever the sex thing, how do you think the other men felt when you were talking about their wives? Have you ever thought about that? No. You just start swiping in the air and trying to bring everybody in to bullshit because you can't defend yourself on your own. You are going to find yourself up in a courtroom and you will be defending yourself there. I don't care what anybody in your freaking live stream has to say. They will not be the judges. The judge can get the live stream him or herself and they can listen to the evidence. It doesn't matter what you delete. It doesn't matter. Like I said before, it's more than likely with you and smoke, the judge is going to tell both of you to go your separate ways. Your problem is with the attacks you had on the wives. There is your problem and your attacks that you have on me. And now you're trying to say anti-fraud warriors is this and that, and we are a legally formed entity and I will get legal action started. If you continue this, I will never grow tired of defending my rights. I can ignore you all day long, but I'm not going to because I'm going to protect anti-fraud warriors. We have a lot of people asking for our help because they're under siege as well. So hopefully 
this will be the last time I have to make any sort of announcement like this because I am serious, very serious. I'm not going to be playing games. I'm not going to be swirling around in the cesspool. You can play in the cesspool all you want. If you are so talented as you say you are, and you have all these skills, Max B, and anyone else up, else out there, you don't need to be mentioning constantly someone else's name and you have no goal. At least with Umar Johnson, there is a goal in mind. There is a specific goal. There is an objective. What is your objective with mentioning my name? What? You have no objective. You don't have no goal. You just want people to come to your channel and there is nothing but slandering people. And that is going to end up costing you. I'm serious. I am very serious. Do not care if you like me. Have you ever understood that? If I cared whether or not you liked me, I would be begging. I would be sending you emails. Please, Max, let me come to your live stream. I'm sorry. Who have I begged? I don't beg anybody. If you don't like me, you do not like me. I am not looking for friends. I have plenty of friends. I have, trust you me, tons of family members that love to tell me what to do. I am not looking for any males on YouTube to boss me around who do not give a shit about me. Get it through your head. I don't care what you think other than the fact that you are slandering me. You are slandering anti-fraud warriors and I'm not going to sit still for it. That's not just you, Max V. That's anyone out there. You will be getting letters. So enjoy it while you can. Your live streams are being recorded. And even if they're deleted, they're a subpoena. And when this is all said and done, you will be paying the legal fees because I can guarantee you I'm going to be prevailing. You do not have a right to slander people. Slander is illegal. You can't be serious thinking the comebacks that I've had, which have been extremely mild compared to what you all have stated, is in anywhere remotely slanderous. Calling people participating in Laos filled live streams, Laos is contemptible. Saying that they're demon live streams, you're doing evil deeds. And I can point to those deeds that you are engaging in. This is a characterization. It's not slander. And I'm certainly not lying about what you're doing. We can prove timeline in terms of who has initiated these attacks. And in the vast majority of times over a period of how long? Four years, I have never even responded. So go right ahead. Let's get this dueled out in court. I cannot wait for this to happen. Because if you have content, put on the content. Trashing people 24 seven is not content. Umar Johnson, oh gosh, are you serious? Stealing money from our community. Perping as a therapist and so many other credentials and licenses he claims that he has. That is not slander that's verified that Umar Johnson is perpetrating all types of fraud. Diagnosing people with mental health disorders, calling people pedophiles, saying you need to call the cops and someone because they're after children. Where the hell are you getting this from? These are lies and this is actionable. So again, enjoy your last, however, few days that you can of lying on people and slandering people because it's going to come to an end. You will be finding yourselves in court defending what you are doing. Now for the rest of you, as you always have done, you can always send emails, DMs. You do that when you have questions. Unlike this grandstanding garbage, these people don't want to know the truth. They just want the crap to continue. Well, if you want it to continue in court, keep talking, keep slandering people. And that is exactly where you're going to end up. And you had better believe where you are working, especially if you're a public servant, they are going to be served with these documents. Now, never ever let anybody bully you out of your rights. Always and forever, heed the warning, buyer, beware.